Hello, welcome to Shad Life. Well, I recently revealed these wheels here on my channel that I just got um, for my retro modern BMX build. And behind me is the box of the frame that I just received. Um, frame and fork, as a matter of fact. Um, and I did ask for people to guess in the comments on my last video, and there were two guesses. <laughs> Um, and, well, one of them was correct. <laughs> Out of the two guesses. The other one was a Haro Freestyler. But, uh, let's take this out of the box. So, I want to take a close look at this thing. Um, I'm super excited about this. Um, and I've been doing a lot of research and a lot of buying of period look-alike parts. Everything I'm getting is brand new. But I'm trying to make it look as much like a 1979 BMX bike as I can. Um, the reason I picked 1979, 1979, 1980, right in there. 1979 was when I first learned about BMX and what BMX was. And it just, it, what, <laughs> corrupted me for life? <laughs> I mean, I have been into BMX ever since. That's a long time ago. So, yeah, let's unbox this and take a closer look. I mean, the pictures, uh, hopefully they're the same because th it, it's a sweet looking frame. I can't even talk. All right, let's open this up. <laughs> okay, so I'll be honest, I opened the box, took all the packaging off so I can do this. <laughs> Dang, look at that thing. It came just very well packed, which is nice because I want to keep this thing looking really good. Um, so, if you don't know much about Torker, they came around, I want to say 74, 75, somewhere like that. Um, and their original frames had the, you know, frames in the, in the mid-70s. They were very tall profile, short front end. You know, the front end was almost the same length as the back end. Super laid back seat tube, things like that. I'll just toss a picture in the corner here so you can get a better idea what I'm talking about. But then, I believe it was 78, they came out with the LP. LP stood for low profile. And so this is a modern version of the Torker LP modern meaning that these aren't headset cups this is an internal headset and they're made to look like headset cups to give you that look of the retro torquers but it's actually a regular internal headset so that's kind of cool that they did that um has the gusset in it just like the original torquers with the hole right twin top tubes that was definitely the main thing that made Torker stand out over other frames. And no, they weren't the first one to do twin top tubes, but one of the few, and definitely one of the few to be successful with it. Then you come back, this little brace back here, flat brace, like, you know, nowadays you would do a tubular version of this, but they actually did a flat brace here which is kind of cool because that's what they were this is flat this is flat that's flat just plate um definitely a thicker more modern dropout than what came on bikes and of course now we've got you know canty mounts for v-brakes because normally you'd run a regular caliper style brake on here but caliper brakes suck so even though there's a hole there and everything Definitely not going to run a caliper brake. And actually back in this day, I don't know if Torker did it, but a lot of companies that had this plate for the brake mount had an ovalized hole so you could move the brake up and down to make sure it lined up with your rim. And a lot of times this would start to bend or get tweaked from the, the brake itself. Like it's kind of wild when you think about it. And so... Um, Definitely not running caliper brake. So it has the look of the original Torker LP, but it's modernized. It has 
a European bottom bracket, which a lot of the modern race bikes have nowadays. Like you could literally build this up as a hardcore race bike today. It's got the geometry for it. It's sure, maybe it's a little heavier because it's chromoly, but this would absolutely work at the racetrack and you could build it up with all modern parts and make it <laughs> raceable. Um, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do <laughs> the retro modern build, but um, Torker did have a European bottom bracket, more specifically on the Eddie King model of this frame um, back in 79, 80, somewhere in there. So super stoked about this. So what I wanna do is pull the fork out. I'll take a look at that briefly. Then I wanna put this in my stand and I'll put a stem on just to hold the fork in it. And then we'll put those uh, moto mag wheels on it and just get an idea of the, the look that it's gonna have. So uh, yeah, let me get the fork up. All right, here is the fork. And honestly, like the way it looks is very close to the original, the dropouts and everything. I mean, the only way I would be able to tell the difference is mostly because this has a threadless, one and an eighth threadless steer tube on it. But yeah, I mean, it has the look of the original Torker forks. So this is gonna be super cool. Um, let me throw a stem on here, kind of get things arranged and, you know, put the wheels in there and just kind of, we'll get an idea of what this thing's going to look like. Um, and I'll just continue as I get parts in and start building this thing. We'll just continue to do videos about it. Um, yeah, this is so cool. All right, let's do it. Okay, this is what it's looking like so far. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I have some parts on order that I'll start installing as I get them. But this is definitely going in the direction that I want it to go in with these Mongoose Moto Mags. Um, and has the look of what you might have typically seen in 1979. Uh, with the exception of... <laughs> This having a 21 and a quarter inch top tube length, which is very modern geometry. But, you know, aside from that, you know, and a few other things, and yes, you those with the keen eye might notice that I have this GT block stem, which is also kind of a retro modern part, but it's not period specific for the rest of this build. So that isn't the stem I will be using. I'm excited to disclose the other parts I will be putting on here because it's gonna be super cool. I'm really gonna try to give it that look of a bike from that era. Um, and so far, so good. I mean, <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Um, yeah, I even found a really cool replica style crank set on here that will definitely be that late 70s style uh, crank set, um, which was just before tubular chromoly cranks became the norm, right? So there you have it. <laughs> I appreciate your support from my channel. Please like and subscribe. Peace. This is gonna be a fun build. It's gonna be so fun.